Okay, so we're going to try this once again. <laughs> I talked for 12 minutes, and there was a feedback loop. Oh, that's good stuff, too. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, who knows? But, uh, so, um, as many of you know, in the Pacific Northwest, a lot of us have been uh, snowed in for a few days. Um, there was even a report of a tran uh, Amtrak train that was um, on route here about Klamath Falls into the Oregon area, and uh, they got stuck. So, um, and uh, the last I heard, they were still stuck, with, <laughs> and were running out of supplies. So, uh, I, that sounds uh, like a horror show to me. Uh, I mean, I like I like train travel, but um, if you can't get to um, <laughs> someplace and those bathrooms start filling up uh that's gotta be not nice and no food and uh like the uh, poor soccer team that was crashed in the andes they may be uh, eating each other in in a couple more days i'm not sure uh, but uh so uh that being said uh I, the person that helps me around the house here has been uh snowed in at their place for five days and that with no electricity uh so uh, that that can't be very pleasant uh, because uh, because this guy um uh, doesn't like the cold at all um and um uh, so that's gotta be uh horrible um so uh let's go to the subject that i was going to talk about or told everyone i was going to talk about uh, about a week ago, which was uh, my mom's fear of dying. Now, a lot of you know that I was uh, born into uh, Christianity, and uh, our family was extremely religious. Um, uh, you know, uh, Sunday school, uh, children's church, uh, which is where we got sent after Sunday school when the big people went into big church, and then um, the Sunday night service, of course, and uh, then Wednesday night prayer meeting. And since my mom was in the choir or was in a couple of different singing groups, there was always practice after prayer meeting. And so that meant that uh, uh, it went from maybe 6.30 in the evening till uh, well, sometimes 10.30 at night. And uh, then uh, as I got older, of course, uh, there was a youth group which uh, would happen on Friday nights for, to keep us, you know, um, all, all together having a great time for Jesus. And uh, and uh, so my parents initially, for once in a while, would try to do Bible studies as a family, but uh, my dad at that time wasn't really into it, and my, he wasn't home a lot. So my mom was like, uh, for some reason, wasn't into it. Uh, so I didn't do much of that, uh, but... Um, Thank goodness, because some people have that every day, too. Oh, I can't imagine. But um, so, uh, and then, of course, um, in Sunday school, we learned a lot about heaven when I was young and the, and the really nice, white, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Jesus with the, sitting on a rock with all the children around him because uh, Jesus loves the little children, you know, and we'd sing the song and and uh, or the songs, you know, Jesus loves me and um and all that all the children of the world and since i went to uh, a very a missionary oriented uh denomination quasi charismatic at times uh we would um, of course have missionaries come in and tell us about how they were saving the people in africa and they would always have these really bizarre uh um slideshows where they had the locals with them uh and uh you know our our church sponsored missionary couples, and I knew, uh, you know, we sent them out, and, uh, you know, from our church, uh, and uh, um, so that was uh, interesting, and uh, there was even a, a, a local airport that was uh, the center for these um, uh, uh, people that would fly, um, uh, and I can't remember the name of the, the group, but it was a, a group that did flew the, uh, the missionaries all over the world, and planes into the you know, Andes and stuff like that is always very interesting. But uh, um, you know, so there was um, early on, of course, there was emphasis as a young child up until about 
six or seven about heaven and then all of a sudden uh, we started to learn that there was a bad place that you went if uh, if you didn't accept Jesus into your heart of course if you did not accept Jesus into your heart uh, there was this other place that was a bad place and uh, and that was kind of innocuous you know you went to heaven and that was good and then there was the bad place and then of course once you graduated into um, well maybe fifth grade or no fourth probably fourth grade uh, you started to learn that that bad place was called hell which um, you know uh, I think my parents had introduced me to that fact uh, before then but you know that and then and then of course the heavy duty uh, the heavy duty bits about uh, you know hell being such an evil place where all the really bad people went uh, that didn't accept Jesus and uh, of course uh, they were tormented and you know, when you graduate into the main church or the big, big church, as we called it, uh, then you got the preaching of the hell fire and brimstone and gnashing of teeth and worms eating out your innards and ew, it, it started to get pretty, pretty gory and graphic. Um, so, you know, early on, you, you didn't want to go to the bad place, of course, as a kid. So uh, you accepted Jesus and usually... Um, you know, many times, and of course you were graduate, graduated, uh, everyone was very happy, that you, you know, that you had uh, finally had des decided to accept Jesus into your heart and you were going to go to heaven with, you know, everybody else. So, uh, speed ahead to my, my mother uh, um, in her 70s, starting, uh, her mother died uh, when she was uh, 76, my grandmother. And that was very traumatic to me when I was young. Uh, I mean, I wasn't that young. I was a teenager, but um, I still couldn't avoid thinking about the, uh, you know, the mortality of uh, uh, things. So that was bothersome to me, of course. Uh, I knew she was a Christian, but, you know, she smoked. And that was, you know, kind of an iffy, uh, you know, how'd that work? I, that, I mean, obviously no Christians I knew who smoked, you know, so. And she never went to church, of course. So, but uh, my mom, when she started to approach the age that my grandmother died, started really fretting about dying. And uh, by this time, I had been, you know, out for decades, and uh, you know, and uh, I was told repeatedly I was going to go to hell because I was a sinner. But um, my mom was so worried about dying, and probably still is, but. Uh, She's, she's still alive in a nursing home now, so. Uh, but um, anyway, so I was sitting with my mom in, in her uh, living room uh, here, um, not, not too many miles from me right now. And um, she was, you know, just really worrying. And my mom has always been a worrier, uh, much like her mother was a worrier. <laughs> and so I said to my mom, uh, after being... Um, her making sure that I knew that I needed to accept Jesus and come back to the Lord. That that uh, I said, well, uh, why are you so worried about dying? I mean, aren't you going to go to heaven? And uh, and my mom has always had this issue with uh, dealing with uh, um, how she really feels and what she says she feels like. Uh, you know, and and so that that has always been an issue, and uh, she didn't really want to talk about that she wanted to talk about me not going to heaven so you know i i i just uh, i've heard this you know the whole uh, there are no um uh, uh, atheists and foxholes bit uh a lot and i i tell you what i've been around a lot of well christians uh or <laughs> people who call themselves christians that when it when push comes to shove they're so for their and, and they're and they're looking their own mortality in the in the face. They seem to lose some sort of a a belief that they've kind of foisted on everyone else for uh, their their lives. Uh, you know, and when it comes to their mortality, uh, they're just kind of really worried about it. And I never could, I never could understand this because it's like if if you really believe. 
you know, what would be, uh, what, what's there to worry about, right? I mean, uh, you're going to go to this great place and my mom will meet her mother and, and her mother's mother that was a Pentecostal preach, uh, preacher, you know, and uh, all these, all these different things. So I just don't, I don't get it, but <laughs> maybe somebody that is a theist um, could t tell me if honestly in the, in the comments would, um, tell me honestly what, uh, they really feel about, uh, dying, you know, do they really believe there's going to be mansions in heaven, uh, streets of gold. And I don't get the streets of gold bit. Um, you know, oh, why is that a cool thing? I'm not too sure. I mean, it sounds like, uh, just kind of a weird idea in my head and it did when I was a kid too I couldn't figure out why a kid would want uh, a mansion or streets of gold I would much rather um, you know I don't know but um, there's a great um, doc uh, kind of a um, um, documentary interview movie done by uh, Diane Keaton in in the 90s 90s 1990s and it's called heaven and uh, Diane uh, went to Venice Beach California which is almost heaven, actually. Uh, <laughs> no. But, um, and interviewed people off the street. And uh, she did a lot of uh, uh, cuts uh, with old movies and talking about heaven and what their beliefs were. And it's hilarious. I mean, uh, Don King is even in it, uh, is interviewed, you know. And uh, so, and the movie's called Heaven by Diane Keaton. And um, if you haven't seen it, it's one of my favorite movies. But, uh, you know, it kind of, throws light on um, some of the silly notions <laughs> of uh, people, uh, believers, not, you know, non-Christians, you know, heaven, what is heaven? <laughs> but um, I know, uh, uh, you know, at this part of my life where I'm uh, facing the end of it, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not afraid of uh, heaven or hell. Uh, and uh, to be honest with you, an eternity in heaven singing praises to god sounds not so fun to me at all but uh you know and i i don't really need more than uh, a couple of rooms in uh in a plant that won't die to uh, make me fairly happy so i don't need streets of gold but you know i guess everybody has a different idea of heaven so if you're a theist and you want to tell me what you think or if you're an atheist and you want to uh, you know, let me know that you've come across these uh, Christians so afraid to die, let me know too. And um, I tell you what, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I think I had 10 subscribers today. That's like a 30% increase in a day. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Hope uh, you're not snowed in or hope you're warmer than a lot of my friends are. Anyway, bye.